Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. Today we're going to learn about supply lines and standpipes for the hydraulic ram pump. Now why do you need one of these standpipes? Well, I've got a hill here that needs water at the top of it. And so, because I'm using the 3 4 inch ram pump, my drive pipe can't be more than 75 feet long or so. Now in that 75 feet, I only have about two feet of head falling into the pump. Not quite enough to get water to the top of this hill. So what I'm going to do is connect a supply line to this standpipe I've made and that will allow the water from this bigger pipe to flow down and raise into this standpipe. So essentially we're moving the source of our water to this pipe but getting a lot more feet of head from up above our drive pipe. So, first of all, I'm going to just install the pump on this 50 foot section and see how high we can pump water. Then, install the standpipe and see what the added feet of head will do to our pump. So, let's get started. Well, I have the pump installed. If you'd like to see a video on how that's done, click here. Now the pump is running at its full capacity, meaning that the valve is straight up and down, and our delivery pipe goes about 20 feet up the hill. So we want to go up there and see how much water is coming out at this setup. Then we'll install our standpipe and see how much better the pressure is up there. So let's go check it out. So here is our water output, roughly 20 feet above the pump, and this is two feet of head. Well, that flow is not bad, and overnight it would fill up a tank pretty quick, I imagine. But let's see what we can get when we install our standpipe. So, let's do that now. Now, it takes forever to get these pumps primed, so I'm gonna turn off the delivery pipe and the drive pipe. So our pipe is full of water and ready to be extended. Let's take a little trip up the creek here. Okay, so here is the current input of our system. That rock right there. And so I've got a, I would say around 75 foot, one and a quarter uh, flex tube here that we're going to attach to our standpipe right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach this end to our drive pipe. Okay. And then next, I'm going to use one of these metal rings to uh, go on this pipe here that will act as uh, the supply line. Uh. Now this is just a temporary setup for testing. So that's a pretty simple um, test install. Just used one and a quarter flex pipe as the standpipe here and then it cuts down I had to use a one inch and then the under three fourths because I couldn't find the right connectors but now let's go fill our supply line with water and get started so I'm just going to take my supply line and sink it in this little pool here and it's sucking water down. And then we'll go see what our results are down at the standpipe. Well, you can see our standpipe is not quite tall enough. We want 
the water to stop flowing about a foot below the top of the sandpipe. So I'm going to cut another piece of this pipe that's a little bit longer. All right, I have a much longer piece here. Let's see if I can avoid getting wet. <laughs> Still not long enough. Gosh. This may be too many feet of head for this pump. All right, I'm gonna cut another piece. Now I have a piece of pipe that's about 15 foot long. And I'm just gonna use this so it, it'll definitely not go above this. And if it does, <laughs> wow. That seemed to stop it. Now I just tighten this down. So to test where this water stops at, I'm gonna tap the pipe. Right there. So we're getting an extra six foot of head off of this system right here. So now we're, we've added that six foot of head off of that standpipe. Let's open this and drain all the air out. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I find a stick. I'm getting splashed here. So let's get all the air out of this pipe. Using this stick here. This terrible broken stick. There's going to be some pressure behind this once it gets going. Alright, now I'm going to open up the delivery pipe. And here's the output with that added six foot of head. A significant increase in pumping power. And there we have it. So that's actually the first time I've ever installed a standpipe and a supply line. People tell you you have to have this ratio of three, two, one, but basically as long as your standpipe and your supply line are bigger than your drive pipe, you're good to go. And when I mean bigger, I mean at least double size, maybe even more. Well, I'm not sure how much higher that would pump up the hill, but it's quite a lot, because uh, adding that six foot of head really makes a difference. Anyway, hope you learned something in this video. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, cool. I learned some new things in this video, and I hope you did too. Whenever your drive pipe is limited to a certain amount of head, adding that stand pipe and supply line can sure make a big difference in your pumping potential. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every week. Now you might see that hydraulic ram pump to your right. I make and sell those at landahouse.com. There's three different sizes to fit your water needs, so check those out. Now to your left you'll see a video. It's me installing a hydraulic ram pump. So it's just some basic information, but you never know, you might learn something new. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I'll see you next time. Bye.